January 16th, 1993, and we are at the United Nations Plaza here. There's a demonstration going on by the Greek community to prevent the name of Macedonia being used by the Yugoslavians. Uh, one of the reasons why I believe so many people are upset here as Greeks is the fact that so many uh, Greek people have sacrificed uh, for the United States. World War I and World War II, the uh, Greeks uh, were allies to America. There are only one of four countries that fought on the side of the United States as allies in World War I and II. Uh, Turkey, of course, was on the side of the Germans in World War I and II, and the Greeks have a uh, sense of betrayal, especially as it relates to Turkey and the invasion of Turkey on the island of Cyprus in July of 1974. So the Greeks have been upset, feeling betrayed, that all their sacrifice, many historians believe that the Greek resistance in May of 1941 against the Germans, whereby the Italians in October of 40 were unable to take Greece, that the Greeks are justified in feeling that America should come to their aid for the thousands of men, women, and children that were lost in the bitter resistance against the Germans, whereby the Germans were unable to penetrate into Moscow and Russia until the winter of 41, thus slowing down their timetable and their plans for being and occupying Russia in the summer of 41. This great sacrifice uh, should be honored, I believe, here in front of the United Nations, where the vote will be taking place Monday by the uh, members of the United Nations. Macedonia has been Greek for 3,000 years. Alexander the Great, in the history books, everybody knows internationally that was a Greek man. So who is these people that are coming now to steal away our history, our name? Who gives them the right? The UN? If the UN decides to create a new Macedonia, it decides to create a new world. Already we have too many wars internationally. I don't think uh, the world is ready to face another Iraq. And uh, better American people get educated to whom Macedonia belongs. Macedonia is Greek land, always has been Greek, 3,000 years history. Every history book in every language of this world they know Macedonia has been Greek and will stay that way. Greek people all over the world will make sure it will stay that way. There are three things the Greeks are asking. First, to take the wording out of the Scorpion Constitution to that the requests and the requires that demands that they acquire eventually the Greek part of Macedonia, the Greek province called Macedonia. They want it and it's in their constitution in writing. We request that they take that out. We also request that they stop the propaganda criticizing Greece or being undemocratic and uh, basically trying to prevent this. And third, to change the name. There are three things we require. The third thing is to change the name. Don't use that name Macedonia because they do not go back 4,000 years the way we do. I was personally born in Katerini. I was born in Macedonia. I was born 15 minutes away from where King Philip's tomb was found. I am a true Macedonia and I am Greek. And they are not. Thank you. I'm an American Greek. Okay, and you fought in the Korean War, you said. Yes, I fought in the Korean War. Three brothers, we all went to Korea. And we fought for this country, but our descent is Greek. And we love Greece, and we want to be a free country, and the name of Macedonia is not for sale. And we fought to help, but physically, or anywhere, we're going to defend it, as American Greeks. So what you're saying is, as a Greek immigrant here, you fought for the United States in the Korean War. You know that the Greeks sent troops for the United States to the Korean War, and you yes. feel funny. Very strong to support the Greek cause. 
and not to create another Lebanon. Because we try to do now a country which has not never existed, we try to create. And yet countries we are in existence, we try to crush them. Why? If we be believe in democracy and the right of a human being, the crooks they're fighting for 50 years. What happened to them? They're not in existence? In a country that never existed, we tried to create. What you're saying is that uh, it's Ill Ill illegal, the idea that Yugoslavia would steal the name of Macedonia. Not Yugoslavia, the, the people there, the territory, they want to create a country in Macedonia. By stealing the Greek name. The, the Greek name. The, 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 na the name Macedonia always was a Greek for 4,000 years. Why suddenly somebody else wanted to steal it? That means they have something behind it. To take the whole territory. This is not start today. This is start many years ago. The Treaty of San Stephanos in 1872 when the Russians wanted to create the big Bulgarian country. They gave Bulgaria from the Black Sea all the way to Macedonia. And the Bulgarians, they had a dream that. And Tito, he took the same idea in 1942 to create the same thing. So what you're saying is Tito and Stalin uh, during World War II developed the idea for the very first time in history that a part of Yugoslavia should have the name Macedonia with expansionist ideas for Salonika. Salonika, old Macedonia. Why don't you tell me about your grandparents who you say suffered and thousands and thousands were slaughtered in the Pontus region which is now in Turkey. Why don't you tell us about that? I will. My parents come in this country in 1912. Uh, they came from Pontus, Turkey, with a name they called Trapezus, the town. They slaughtered the Turks, genocide, 350,000 Greeks, from 1915 to 1922. My father came here and he served in this country, World War I, and his children served in the Korean War, and his grandchildren, they probably served in another war. I am here now with the fourth generation of Greeks, with my grandson. Any father you want to go? <laughs> it's four generations. Why don't you tell the American audience, they probably don't know about 1912. Uh, the Turkish uh, people, I understand, the Armenians, they slaughtered over one million Armenians on April 30th, 1915. Then what happened? They slaughtered them, they left them. The Turkish never was a friend of the United States. Always was the opposition. It was with the Germans. And yet, we tried to make with our friends. Turkey never going to be our friend. She is opportunist. If she used the opportunity to go against us, she's going to do it again. And they slaughtered, you see, genocide the Armenians, the Greeks, the Kurds, everybody. So, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, the Americans, I hope they, st they take the right stand to help the right cause. Could you say something, uh, since you were in the Korean War in the United States military uniform, could you say something about uh, World War II and uh, what happened? Uh, in your opinion, you feel justified again because uh, Greece stopped the Germans from advancing and prevented them from entering uh, Russia in the summer of 41. Could you talk about what you remember? Were you a child during that time? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I was in Greece. I was outside of Salonika, I born. And the Greeks, at that time, everybody was praising us that they say that the gods fight like Greeks and not the Greeks like gods. And suddenly, we now we became the enemy. Uh, the Greeks, I think, they helped a lot in World War II, the Allies. It was the only country who fought the enemy. France in two weeks, Poland in two weeks, Yugoslavia didn't stand at all. And Greece less than from October to May. Which other country well, stopped? 1940 to 41. Which other country stopped it? Tell me. Nobody else but Greece. Uh, so that's why you feel justified again today that uh, Greece has suffered so many losses to contribute to the Allied victory in World War II. I think it gave a nice cause and it stand for itself. The Greeks, they always was with the Allies from World War I and always was a friend of the United States.
So I can see now why suddenly we want to take a step in the other way. So for me, I think it's, we should have the Greek cause. Uh, the quote that you just gave was from Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill also said that if the Greeks stop the Germans, they will be rewarded with the reunification of the island of Cyprus with uh, Greece. Uh, do you remember that? Do you want to comment on Churchill's I, words? I remember very vaguely. I don't remember at all, but I read about it that in case the Allies win the war, Greece is rewarded with Cyprus and the Totekanis, the 12 islands. Which we got the 12 islands, but Cyprus, the English, they gave us trouble. Somehow they don't want to take it. And they create the minority of Turkey. So they figure. They, can you comment a little bit on the reports that we hear that somehow the English, after World War II, uh, supplied weapons and gold litters to both the leftists and the rightists in the Greek Civil War? That's what they say. I didn't see it. Even if I was in the mountains, I didn't see it. But they say that the English supply both sides. And most of it, they help the other create a problem in Greece, so Greece is not be stable. That, yes. northern part of Greece. Uh, I'm living now in Philadelphia. What I want the American public to realize is that we don't have anything against the people of Skopje. We want them to be free. We want them to be independent. Uh, we congratulate them for uh, their independence. All we want them is not to steal uh, our culture, not to steal our name. Macedonia is Greek and we want to be their friends as long as they keep their own identity, they keep their own name. I think they were named the Republic of Vardar. Uh, and I think one reason why the confusion is, is very simple. Macedonia is a big region and uh, many people can call themselves Macedonians, but the name of that region comes from ancient Macedonia that gave its name to the region. And that historical connection is Greek. Everybody knows that. If we don't want to create another Middle East conflict in the Balkans, we have to keep the issues clear. We have to avoid confusion. And I think the American government and the American people have to realize that by keeping things simple and clear and true to their historical identity, they are going to help avoid conflict in the Balkans and avoid creating another Middle East problem there. So we are pro-peace and we are in favor of, of the people of Skopje for their independence, but we will not accept any kind of uh, stealing our traditions and our name for a very, unfortunately, expansionistic uh, intent. Okay. All right. You want to talk about the misrepresentation? I like that. What else? 